Welcome back to our Global Arctic Solution Guides Playwright Channel on Lecture 14A Code Optimization Extended Version Before you started this lecture, I highly encourage you to complete previous lecture related, related with this course. Let's get started and jump on the topics. So today we'll be discussing about code optimizations. Um, this is going to be an extended version of the previous um, lecture. Organizing test and generate early reports. So on the on the previous class, as you know, uh, we optimized a uh, five test cases, right? And the rest of the test case, which is um, there is around like forty or thirty nine uh, validations. So each validation will have a single test case, a single test block, basically. So how do we do that? We used over here as an array uh, with um, test uh, assertion or test name and we assert it inside the test box right now we'll be doing the same thing so in order to get all the text from the locator from the internet website so from here because we have to come up with a each an individual test description name and the assertion right so in order to come up with the individual test assertion name so we have to get this text how do we do that so it's very simple so let's get the text so inside the test block we'll be using let's say get text and inside it will be using for loop for let i equal zero it's not a zero it's starting from one so i I less than equal 44 so we have 44 elements then I plus plus elements. so now we'll be adding over here it to uh, in order to get the text that the get text element locators so let's go ahead on the website let's see what is the get text element locator so this is the get text locators uh, so this one console.log await then page dot locator and dot text content right so this avoid uh, it's giving us error the reason is so i did not put async over here so i have to put async and then will be our page so that's it so page dot locator so that's when you are referring to this page to this page now if you hit run the reason is i started from one if you go to the website and uh, on the internet website uh, so this is the starting from one um this is a uh, this is not uh, this is not from zero so this is the index number start from one which is as you see him over here the a b testing which is the index number one on the locator so that's why i started from a one then ending with the 44 because there is a 44 elements over here right so now let's get started get the locators um all the text so let's run this one and let's see i can get the text on it so this is the get text save it and hit run npm run test npm run test Oh, so I made a mistake over here. So instead of locator, I have to use the functions I created last time. So this one for all of the locators as a global functions using the index. Let's go ahead and use this one. So that's mean that is a landing page dot is and inside the parenthesis will be the I. So now it will should get in all the text it doesn't make sense if i had code it so that's when it will pointing on the one but right now it's you know like there's a it is a function i created for all entire elements so then we pass the i then so there you go i can see the report here also i can see all the text right just copy and paste 
copy all of them so copy from here all the text and paste them inside the landing page of JSON so this is which is I just paste it I paste it on the text getting the text and pasting it just designing it you know like with the string and comma that's all so now once we have this one take a look how the code it looks like so now so for all the validation so we don't need this one at this moment right for getting text but just leave it here get text get text from on the landing place get link text link text on the landing place so let's name it there so now for all the test you see the six seven eight nine ten until forty four right this around like I would say 30 38 line of code will be replacing with only only one line of quotes this is the only one how optimized this code so that's why it's called a code optimizations so now this 40 44 line of code or 39 yeah so this is enter 45 line of quotes will be replacing with the one how do we do that so basically we'll be adding over here you see the links length will be 44 links length will be 44 1 to 44 and we are pushing to the empty array we talked about in the previous class and we call that array here with the for each iterations now the for the test descriptions we also call landing page data dot landing page link text which is that array we defined here so this is going to be a 44 descriptions <coughs> test and descriptions also this one methods which means we are calling the 44 methods from here landing page dot get landing page locator i i meanings is a 44 right so 44 method we are we are calling and this array it came from basically this one this is the global locators which is i equal 44 1 to 44 so now if you run this code and this one let's let's skip this one i don't need this one right this is a single line of code replaced with 44 line let's run this one npm run test Take a look over here on the console. 1, 2, 15, 21, 22, 23, 24. Just keep on going. Right? So one of them failed. Let's see why it's failing. We'll find out. So after 24, it's keep on failing. Find out, find out. It is asserting the text, basically this text, um, asserting the text, which is landing page text. This, the same text it is asserting during the assertion. Now, if you go over here on the, um, so 24, let's see the 24, which one 24. Which is with comment 24 this is the horizontal slider and also over here if you come infinite this is the infinite horizontal slider it's working 24 24 horizontal slide working 25 hours 
this is the hovers. Let's go ahead and see it's the hovers or not. 24, 25. Horizontal slider. Where is the horizontal slider? So horizontal slider is 28. This is the mismatching happening. Now, let's go ahead, take a look. I'm gonna make the two pays here. This is the one pays and we'll be validating here. Um, so this is the checkbox, A-B testing. The first one is our A-B testing. The second one, add remove. Third one, basic or fourth one, broken. Sixth one, challenging done. And seven one, checkbox, which is a checkbox over there. Context menu, context menu, digest authentications, disappearing, disappearing, drag and drop, drag and drop, drop down, which is a drop down. Then dynamic content, dynamic loadings, and then dynamic controls, entry add, exit intent, file download, file upload, floating menu, format password, uh, form authentications, frames, geolocation, horizontal, horizontal slider, horizontal slider, hours. So here you go. So this is the problem here. So it is not working. So it's not there. Right. So that's when you have to put manually. It has to be match. Right. So it's it's it is from hover infinite scroll. So we missed one of them here. So it will be hover H O. PERs, hovers, infinite scroll, inputs, jQuery, JavaScript, key press, uh, then large, multiple, then nested, notification, redirect, secure, shadow, then shifting, then slow reduce, slow reduce, sortable, status, typo. So that should be fine now. Let's go ahead, save it, and run it again. <clears throat> okay, it looks like it's keep on going. Right. It's going, going. Let's keep on going, 37, 38, 39, 41, 42, 43, 44. There you go. So all of them pass. All the test cases are passing. So now if I optimize this code, just delete, delete this one, right? And this is how the looks, the code. Basically, this is our a single line of code replacing with 44 lines this is how we optimized okay so save it and run so it, it's already run and it's open up the report let's go ahead and research the report analyze the report now we take a look how the report look like so this this is our the first one get link text on the landing page get text in text right now this started with the from number six validate ex, um, expected link text Oh, what if let's say then let's comment out all other code except the one except only one landing page so this is the description this is our code which is we are doing now if you run it again And this is going to be only code, right? And this is only single line of code replacing with 44. And if you're going back to the report, this is the report for clicks. All right, that's all. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, we'll get back to you guys soon. Rest of this course.